When I got outside, I heard the animals freaking out. I've been working in the barn earlier. There's no way I would have left that door wide open. I saw someone walk past that window, and I knew I wasn't alone. I could hear my heartbeat pounding in my ears. After that night, I decided to go ahead and list the house for sale. I didn't want to stay any longer than I had to. I knew I left that scarecrow behind the barn. I started thinking someone really didn't want me back on that farm. <sighs> and they were screwing with me. I was packing up my mom's stuff in her old room. In the top drawer of her dresser was a stack of journals. Looked like she'd been keeping diaries since she was a teenager. I felt a little bad reading them, but it felt nice too. It was almost like I was having one last conversation with her. My dad died two years after I left home. And I was an only child. So after he was gone, it was just my mom left alone in the house. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. But as shocked as I was, well, I can't say I never suspected it. The truth was, 
I never really felt like I fit in with my dad's side of the family. My mom treated me like a son every day of my life. But my dad and his family, they didn't. If my mom had hidden that in her diary, well, I knew there had to be more in there. I was right. I found the journal entries from when they adopted me. Turns out my mom couldn't have kids. And after two miscarriages, she pushed my dad for adoption. But my dad didn't want me. It was obvious from her journal entries that uh, his religion meant more to him than I did. I wish it would The only person I told about those things I saw in the graveyard was my mom. And she told me I imagined them. But she had it written right there in her journal. She had seen them too. I will shoot! I'm warning you! Stop! couldn't understand what I was seeing. He just shook his head at me like he always used to. And then, he was gone. I thought I was losing my mind. never a religious person, but I found myself praying, and I was asking God, please, wake me up. Or give me my sanity back. I mean, this was what I had seen as a kid. But it was all coming back. This property had been in my family for a hundred years. They were the ancestors. This was their land. I never felt like I belonged there with them. I wasn't one of them. Me and my mom, we weren't like them. And they probably didn't want either of us there. I know it sounds crazy, but I know what I saw. And I'll never go back there again. <laughs> 